I was asked this question whether subtraction can be done backwards and uh, in this video I'll show you what can be done about it. Here is your typical problem when you have a bigger amount when you have a bigger amount down here and when you have a smaller amount up here and I'm gonna draw up here three versions this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a version that I'm gonna call uh, obviously wrong obviously wrong uh, this one's gonna be a version that is uh, it's gonna be called uh, that's a K it's gonna be kind kinda works Oopsie. kinda works and here will be a version which is uh, uh, works all the time okay so we're gonna go from obviously wrong to kinda works to works all the time now obviously wrong with this one we'll just follow the steps okay so 12 minus 15 it's obviously the correct answer is obviously minus 3 but do we get minus 3 if we just follow the steps without any thinking we cannot take away 5 from 2 we're gonna have to we're gonna have to, but there's not enough ones here we're gonna have to borrow from the tens so we trade up the ones maybe I should use this one we trade up the tens and it becomes a zero and uh, we're gonna have 12 ones in the uh, ones column here 12 minus 5 that can be done and you have 7 here and uh, 0 minus 1 now we cannot take away 1 from 0 but uh, if we just follow the steps uh, that uh, for a standard subtraction we might come to the conclusion that basically we have 0 minus 1 and that equals just write down minus 1 how about that and then we have the result 12 take away 15 is minus 17 it's obviously wrong because the correct answer is minus 3 okay here's a version that kinda works for this one I'm gonna just uh, say uh, let's go with the same number, I don't know, let's go, let me just increase it by 10 only so it's gonna be 22 minus 25 okay again 2 minus 5 cannot be done you need to borrow so that one's coming out uh, you trade one of the tens up there to be 10 ones and this becomes a 12 12 minus 5 is 7 now at this point you have to stop and realize that what you have here basically instead of uh, 120 and two ones is one piece of 10 and 12 ones now that you take away five ones from the 12 you're gonna have seven ones left yes and then you also have the one piece of 10 so what you have here essentially is 10 here plus the 7 there you have 17 and out of 17 you're trying to take away 20 because that 2 has a place value of 10 so uh, what uh, is next is 17 take away 20 eventually you're gonna have to realize it that it's gonna be minus 3 or you're gonna be 3 short but you cannot take away uh, 20 from the 17 so uh, this uh, subtraction works for a uh, for a certain uh, for a certain number of digits until you realize that there is a point at which you cannot take away from this this amount anymore and at that point you kinda have to 
take a look at what you actually have and write up your tens and the ones and uh, and uh, see what you uh, have there left what does work all the time is that at this point when you realize that the that you don't have seven here exactly you have 17 still remaining and that you're gonna be that the final answer is gonna be minus three you're gonna be three short minus three is what works all the time is you flip the amounts and write the bigger amount on top and write the smaller amount below standard procedure and do it like that and then you have three now this three is not the same as negative three however say uh, you have uh, you have 22 inches of shelf space on the shelf okay so this is space empty space and you have a load that's 25 inches tall say a stack of uh, a stack of uh, drywall sheets okay so dry wall sheets now and uh, and you want to figure out by how much would you need need to move the shelf brackets up to make the available space work so with the forklift you can uh, you can put the 25 inch uh, tall stack on the available space well you, the answer is you need to move up three inches and uh, that is you're three inches short and the nature of the short the nature of being short is represented by that negative sign here so what you can do <coughs> what you can do and that works all the time is flip the problem in your head and uh, and just for now just pretend that 25 is the space and 15 uh, sorry and uh, 22 is the stack of drywall sheets and you know that in this configuration you're gonna have a gap available gap of three inches but you know that you flipped the amount originally so this becomes a minus three to represent that you are actually three inches short and you need to reposition your, sh your uh, uh, shelf brackets so that's uh, that's how backward subtraction is really done whether you're calculating with feet inches and fractions of an inch or whole numbers, it doesn't matter it's the same thing bottom line you have to flip the amount in your head remembering that you flipped the amounts and that the answer will be uh, uh, representing something that you're short of space or uh, yeah if you're doing feet and inches it's gonna be a linear measurement so it's gonna be length so that's the only solution that works.